Hello. Me and my partner are working on this problem from chapter 4 that we thought we'd like to share with you. A thousand newton crate is being pushed across the level floor at a constant speed by the applied force of 300 newtons at an angle of 20 degrees below the horizontal. Part A asks, what is the coefficient of kinetic friction between the crate and the floor? Well, that's what we're here to find out. Now, the first step we have to take is make a free body diagram. When you make a free body diagram, you want to be sure you label everything. So that's what we're doing right now, is putting down everything. We have the force of gravity, we have the normal force, we have the force of friction, and we have the force applied. We also have the force applied in the x and y directions. Now, the problem already gave us the force applied to be 300 newtons. And the force of gravity is 1,000 newtons. And then we put the degree at which the angle is, which is 20 degrees. Now, what we have to do is do the sine of 20 degrees times 300 newtons. And that will give us the force applied in the x direction. If we do it correctly, we should come out with 103. And I apologize, it was not the force applied in the x direction, it was in the y direction. That was my bad. <laughs> what we can do to find the force applied in the x direction is do the cosine of 20 degrees times 300 newtons. If we do this correctly, we should come out with 285. Afterwards, we put that as the force of friction for part A. Now, we have to find the normal force which is the force of gravity plus the force of flight in the y direction. So in this case, the force of the normal force equals 1,000 newtons plus 103. That will give us 1,103 newtons. Now we can solve for the kinetic friction between the uh, crate and the floor. What the equation we used to find it was the force of friction equals the mu multiplied by the normal force. So we have the force of friction, which is 285 newtons, equals the mu multiplied by 1,103 newtons. What we have to do is divide 285 by 1,103 newtons, and that will give us 
0.26 equals the mu. And that is how we found the kinetic friction. Now, part B asks, if the 300 newton force is instead pulling the block out at an angle of 20 degrees above the horizontal, what will be the acceleration of the crank? Now, we must assume that the coefficient of friction is the same as we found earlier in part A. The first thing we're going to do is look over the data we have from part A recorded on here. So we have the mu to be 0.26, which was our answer in part A. Now we're going to make a free body diagram illustrating what happens when it is pulled rather than when it is pushed. So right now we're putting down the we're labeling everything again. I don't want to confuse anybody out there. Alright, so as we stated previously, the force of gravity is a thousand newtons, and the force applied is 300 newtons. And this is a, at 20 degrees above the horizontal. And we found that the force applied in the X and in it was 285 newtons, and the one in the force applied in the Y direction was 103 newtons. Now, what we're doing right now is the normal force equals the force of gravity minus the force applied in the y direction. We're doing this because instead of being pushed, it's being pulled. So we have the normal force equals a thousand newtons minus one hundred and three newtons. Now that will give us 897 newtons. Now we're looking for the force of friction. Previously we put it down in part A eh, because it was assumed that it was in equilibrium. That is not the case here. So the force of friction equals the mu multiplied by the normal force. So we do force of friction equals 0.26 multiplied by 897 newtons. Doing this correctly, we should come out with 233.2 newtons. Now we're ready to look and find the acceleration uh, of the uh, crate. So what we have to do first is find the sum of the forces. Now the sum of the forces equals the mass multiplied by the acceleration. So the forces in the x direction are 233, which is the force applied in, which is the force of friction and we have the force applied in the x direction. So what we have to do is subtract the two. Now, if we get our numbers right, we should come up with 285 minus 233.2. Doing this correctly, we should come out with the sum of the forces equals 51.8 newtons. Now that's the sum of our forces, so we do 51.8 newtons equals 102 kilograms 
multiplied by the acceleration. Divide the 51.8 newtons by 102 kilograms, and we come up with an acceleration of 0.51 meters per second squared. And that's how you find the acceleration of the crate.